what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? We got a tender nut who approached a group of women, tried to holler, got rejected, and instead of him walking off like a human being, a civilized human being, this uncivilized mutt went to his car, pulled out a gun, and started bussing. Fam. Men. Whatever happened to just walking off? Okay. We got to figure this out, fam. Because we got mamas and sisters and cousins and aunts and friends out there who have to come in contact with these uncivilized mutts. They must be put down. We have to be okay with that. So here's what happens, fam. The dude approached the women while they're eating on a patio at a restaurant. He trying to, you know, get at them. They're not trying to hear it. A couple of jokes gets passed and dude, he's infuriated. He's standing over them like lurking like talking about I'm a killer and all of this type of stuff. Now, the restaurant seemed to be a, an upscale place. Or at least people came there dressed nice. And dude had a t-shirt on, some shorts, a cap and stuff. So he really didn't look the part. Now, there's not a lot of context to this story. We do know that he tried to holler at the women, the women rejected him. And there was some type of slick talking going on with their comments. Dude only became more infuriated and he started talking about he's a killer and all of this type of stuff. And then he goes to the car, gets his gun and starts shooting. It's unclear if anybody was hurt. It's unclear if there had been any arrest but one thing is clear, that uncivilized mutt needs to be captured and put in a cage so that the rest of us can be protected. We can feel a little safer. That's right. He's an uncivilized mutt. Fellas, let me tell you something. All is fair in love and war. When when you approach a woman, first and foremost, if you approach anybody and you speak to them, people do not ask you to speak to them. They don't ask you to come on to them. That's a tough pill to swallow even when you just are speaking to someone and you're not trying to hook up with them. You're just being polite and they don't say anything. You know, that kind of hits you in the gut, right? And you want to say, well, fuck it in, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I realized that I had to get over it because some people, you speak to some people and they just don't say anything. And then, you know, so in my mind, I say, fuck it in. I, you know, I won't say it out loud, but, you know, everybody is a little different. And then also, you don't know what's going on in somebody's head. You don't know what kind of day a person had. That person might be just totally shut down. You don't know what's going on with that person. So I just kind of like, kind of just learn to shake it off and then keep it moving. And that's what he should have did. He should have just shook it off and kept it moving. But his ego was hurt. You see, his ego was hurt. So he had to feel like he had to be a bigger guy and to do something to even the score, make them feel as bad as he felt. Now, when I saw him standing over those women who didn't behave the way he wanted them to behave, I couldn't help but say to myself, would he had done that to a group of men? Would he had approached five, six group of, uh, uh, five or six men who were in a group standing over one of them and saying, I'm a killer? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Which makes me respect him even less. I had no respect for him already, but even lesser respect because I know he wouldn't have done that to a group of dudes. It's a lot of dudes like that. Man, they got the rah-rah. They got all the energy in the world for women. Oh, man, they strong when it comes to women. They're passionate about violence. But when it comes to men, oh, they ain't got that type of energy. They won't dare try with a man, you see? Now, some people are saying, well, you know, women, you know, they can be very rude. You know, I mean, they, they was talking all fly and blah, 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 and da, da, da. Let me tell you something, fam. I get it. But there's still no excuse for a man who's trying to holler at a woman and he don't get what he want to go to the car and pull out a gun. You can't excuse that behavior. So you got to watch how you, how you uh, preface uh, these type of statements, you know. You either support civilization or civilized mannerism, or you don't. Yes, the women could have been a little bit more tactful in the way they turned him down. But from what I understand, he was constantly pressing the issue and they constantly was telling them no. So finally, they was just, I guess, exacerbated and they were like, you know what? Psst. You know, get out of here, joker or whatever. The thing is, sometimes it don't matter what a woman does. A woman can be very polite. She can be, uh, she can tell a dude she's married. She got a boyfriend. She can keep it moving. She can be silent. She can be aggressive, whatever. And that dude is still going to be a trip. He's still going to be aggressive. Case in point, the woman in New York who was at the, that was in Harlem, I believe, that was at the liquor store. And she told the dude, the dude tried to offer to buy her some alcohol. And she said, no. And this fool started beating on her. So this is what I'm saying, fam. Some of these dudes out here are just uncivilized mutts. And they need to be put down. They need to be brought to heel. They don't deserve to roam uh, around in society with civilized people. This dude is an uncivilized mutt. So whatever the women did or whatever they said, it didn't justify his actions. And that is the final point that everybody need to be focused on. No more talk. What the haters talking about?